I'm going to be teaching you how to hypnotize yourself so you can achieve and accomplish your fullest of potential. And it only takes about five minutes. Once you do this exercise and you make it a nightly ritual, you'll notice within about two weeks, you'll start to feel more empowered, more inspired, more confident, and more motivated and more productive. Maybe you'll be getting better grades. Maybe you'll be making more money. Maybe you'll be getting more work done a lot easier, quicker, and faster. You see, when I was in seventh grade, I had a learning disability and I stumbled upon this tool called self-hypnosis and I actually hypnotized myself to get better grades. Now I teach it to people, over 70,000 people all over the world I've taught this craft to, to help them learn how to gain control of their lives, feel more empowered, inspired, and accomplished. I've used it now to help athletes, business people, and students. So ask yourself if you could accomplish something better, what would you do? What could you use it for? So when I teach you this tool, when I teach you self-hypnosis within the next minutes, I want you to develop a better picture of yourself and ask yourself what you'll be able to accomplish. If you're a student, maybe you'll be able to get better grades, eliminate exam anxiety, or to develop a superpower memory. If you're in business, maybe you'll be able to do better, be more productive, and as a result, make more money, which everybody loves money, right? It all starts with how you think. Many people go to bed stressed and they wake up worried and anxious. I find that's a big problem in today's society because when we're not thinking good about ourselves, we're not feeling good. And when we're not feeling good, we're not doing good. So what I want to teach you is how to control your thoughts and program your mind much like you would program a very high, efficient, powerful computer. You're already telling yourself something that has programmed you. You've been exposed to programming, in essence, hypnotized, since you exited the wound. You have been exposed to programming not only by society, not only by religion, not only by advertisers, not only by your peers, your parents, but also by yourself. If you picture this, you're walking into school and you have a test to take that day. Your teacher the day before told you that it was going to be the most difficult test you've ever taken. So now you have that in your mind. You've created that thought and you're thinking to yourself, no matter how much you study, you're destined to fail. Unfortunately, a lot of people are sending those messages to other people outside of their realm. It's time to control it, to eliminate that external program and to learn how to start programming ourselves, to start thinking better so we start feeling better to start feeling better so we start acting better. So I want you to follow along with me for a moment. If you can, take your hands, clasp them together, just like this, good. Take your two index fingers and put them out just like that, wonderful. In a moment, I will count forward from one up to three. On my count of three, I want you to do three things. And don't worry, this isn't gonna put you to sleep or cast a spell on you. But on my count of three, I'd like you to separate your two index fingers, look at them, and then listen to my voice. When you do, you're gonna see something absolutely amazing happen. Get ready, here we go. One, two, three. Separate your fingers, look at them. They're going to touch. Imagine what it would be like for two rubber bands attached to your fingers, pulling them closer and closer together. Imagine what it would be like for magnets to be attached to your fingers, pulling them closer and closer together, closer and closer together until they touch. That space between your fingers gets smaller and smaller. It may happen slow, it may happen fast. But when your fingers touch, you can take them apart. They'll actually touch faster the second time. Watch as it happens now. If that worked for you, you've just been hypnotized. Hypnosis is just a natural, altered, zone-focused state. And I'm going to teach you now how to use it effectively and efficiently. At night, as we fall asleep, we go into a natural zone state, a natural receptive state. And just like this exercise that you just did, where you thought about something and it happened, you see your thoughts became congruent with your bodily functions and actions. The same thing is true at night when you fall asleep. When you fall asleep, you go into a natural receptive state. Let's use that receptive state. 
For the last five minutes, as you're falling asleep at night, instead of worrying about what's gonna happen tomorrow or being anxious about what's gonna happen next week, I want you to think of what you would like to accomplish to be better. I'd like you to make a little movie in your mind of what the ideal you would be like. Now, if the ideal you sounds a little intimidating, just think about what you want tomorrow to be like, how you want tomorrow to go. Just practice this, try it out, make it a ritual. For when you fall asleep at night, make a little movie in your mind of how you want tomorrow to go or how you want to be as your ideal self. Hypnotize yourself into being better, doing better, feeling better, and thinking better. So ladies and gentlemen, I tell you today, when you do this exercise, and this is an exercise I've been doing every night since I've been in seventh grade, and it works. Once you do this exercise and you make it a nightly ritual, you'll notice within about two weeks, you'll start to feel more empowered, more inspired, more confident, and more motivated and more productive. Maybe you'll be getting better grades. Maybe you'll be making more money. Maybe you'll be getting more work done a lot easier, quicker, and faster. You can program yourself at night for what you want to do tomorrow.